Okay, so um, for this video, we're going to be discussing the case study that you had in class. Um, for this video, I just want to put out there the essential question. Basically, what this case study was asking you to do was to decide for yourself how good was the gravity model at predicting migration to your state. Remember that the gravity model looks at predicting the interaction between places on the basis of their population size and distance. And if you look to page 103 of your case study, you'll see that population and distance are part of the formula, okay? They're the P1 um, and the D, excuse me, the PI and the DIJ, okay? So we're trying to decide for ourselves how good the gravity model is at predicting migration to your state. Now turn to page 104 and just looking at the breakdown that they give you on the case study from column A to column G, decide for yourself what column would you want to look at in order to help you predict, in order, in order to help you figure out and decide if the gravity model worked correctly. Are you going to look at the population? Are you going to look at distance, state of province, or predicted migration, actual migration, or residual percentage? Take a moment right now, pause the video, and decide for yourself, okay? All right, so if you chose look at the residual percentage, then you are correct, okay? Um, that's what you need to focus on. That's going to tell you the answer, okay? How good is our gravity model? We're going to look at the residual percentage or um, column G of your spreadsheet. So, nope, not that one, but this one. So, if I, I've gone ahead and I've decided for Florida to be the state that I'm going to look at. So, we are looking... When we're making that scatter diagram, this is the column where they're going to take, where the computer is going to take all that information, okay? Remember, look at the definition of residual migration. Actual migration, so column F, minus the predicted migration and then divided and, and made into a percentage, okay? All right. So then you had to go and make a scatter diagram, and of course you had to get rid of some of the outliers or some of the larger um, states or the states that had too much or their residual was too high so that you could open up this lower left-hand corner, okay? So this scatter diagram is basically telling you how good the gravity model was at predicting population to the state of Florida, okay? The next part of the activity was for you to make a court class map. And um, now it's up to you how you decide to make your core plus map. But remember, you want to show me that you understand, okay, how well the gravity model worked, okay? So you want to use colors to, to, to decide, okay, um, based off of the states, this state was really good at, or the gravity model was really good at predicting the amount of people who were going to move um, to Florida from this particular state. So you might choose a particular color. Um, then you might choose another color for states that were absolutely horrible, like for the gravity model. The gravity model like completely got it off. Um, for example, we could look at New York or even some of our outliers here like New Jersey was far away from this line, whereas Indiana is pretty good. Even, I mean, um, D.C. is pretty good and Nebraska, but then all the way out here, New Jersey, and I had gotten rid of some other states. But you could also look at this column here and decide for yourself, okay, what states um, were really good, um, was the gravity model really good at predicting, and then not really good. So you're going to have, on average, two 
to four different colors for your choropleth because you want to show the range of states that were real that the states that the gravity model did a really good at predicting kind of good not really good okay and again you need to read um, the case study because it explains it all there for you that's the only way um, you'll have it like this video can be helpful but you have it written right there in front of you it's just a matter of you just sitting down and reading it over and maybe even discussing it with um, a classmate so I hope this helps don't forget that there are questions there are about five questions at the end of the case study um, that you need to answer on um, the appropriate page of your notebook and then also remember that for your choropleth map, you can just email me a screenshot. It would be best if you can do color, okay? So printing it out black and white won't, very, won't help me very much when I go to grade. Okay, bye-bye.